All right, want to learn how to make really cute cupcakes? We're here to show you. Actually, Julie Sizemore is here from Creative um, Cake Supplies. Obviously, um, great cupcake books and things like that um, that you sell at your store. Everything to make cupcakes, you've got it there. It, the tins, the this, the that. Fun, yes. Uh, and now what's fun is a lot of the um, cupcake companies have come out with individual colored paper which has been a request for years because of weddings and color themes and okay so it's not see, just the light pink and right, yellow right. and whatever so first of all you have what, tons of different cupcake liners too. exactly and then we of course um to make all your cupcakes the same size portion scoop important those as you rock. know yes i have fallen in love with those um they're these little do we have one over here deb to show um it looks like a little ice cream scoop so if you're doing the texas size cupcakes you've got a scoop for that if you're doing um they are fabulous and I, for your cookies yeah. and everything just bakes evenly yeah and because you know when you're going to fill cupcakes and if you make a lot of them um you just, just do a level one scoop, scoop and you're for perfect. a standard size muffin perfect so right. that's the one thing and so anyway um what we're going to do here is this is a technique using different marshmallows so we we did the daisies with the jumbo marshmallows oh. or standard marshmallows and the mini marshmallows are the zinnias. Oh. Now you can either, this is an example of the colored marshmallows, sure. which are also flavored, okay. so you'd have to take that into consideration if you want that or not. Okay. And then these are just the regular minis. Okay. So all you do is you cut your, if you're going to do the standard marshmallow, okay. you cut your marshmallow into five pieces into a, uh, a bowl of sanding sugar. Okay. I'm starting out with uh, my friend Jordan's favorite color, blue. And you sell this sanding sugar? Right? At Ab the store? Absolutely. And it and comes in all different colors. You don't have to color it, right? No, it comes pre-colored. Okay. And we even have some fun kind of tropical colors. Cute. So this is like a salmon-y color. I love that. There's gold and silver, all sorts of fun and color. And this stuff, this just sticks right to the marshmallows. It, and it only Easy. sticks to the cut part. Okay. So now you cut, you cut the jumbo marshmallows this way. Okay. On the, you know lengthwise okay and then you cut the mini marshmallows on the diagonal now okay. you, you want to use clean scissors not ones out of your kids craft bucket because okay. people will be eating these okay and then just you know you've got your sugar in the bottom and then just give it a toss that's easy enough and now this sugar only sticks to the cut side okay so then what you want to do is let's use our offset spatula not a butter knife there you go that's a dig at me because she said, <laughs> every time I see you frosting cupcakes you use a, a butter knife um, but you know I'm learning I'm learning <laughs> So you sell these, and these just make frosting cupcakes real easy. Is Absolutely, okay. and for and um, for for this technique, what we want to do is just put a dollop in the center, okay, and then just give the cupcake a spin, okay, and then wipe a little bit off the top to get a level surface, okay. So you're going to cover most of this up, so you're not going to see this. So this is the part where neatness isn't as important, okay. So then with the jumbo uh, marshmallows, what you want to do is line up five of them along the edge. Okay. Kind of overlap a little bit? Yep. Or excuse me, six of them okay. on that one. And okay. I'll let you finish that one, and I'll start a mini one. Now what you want to do, same thing, give yourself a base coat. Um, what I did with some of them is I actually rolled the edge of the cupcake these are easy, actually. In, oh, really, it's really easy. easy. Good for you your bake some, sale. Uh, I know. I've got a big bake sale this weekend. St. Matt's. Go support the Girl Scouts. Okay. If you want to pre, if you want to pre rim your cupcake, just um, edge a little bit uh, in the sugar that you already have in your bowl. So basically, um, M and M's in the middle, right? M and M's. Yep. And then um, for the zinnias, they're the Ooh. they're the um, licorice pastels. They're kind of like the good and plenties, but they're skinnier. Okay. So with these, you use the the flat side, and then your petals are going to be pointed then, and I you do it. a couple layers. And if you want, you can leave the center open where you're going to stick your little licorices or I filled mine all the way up if you do you know larger cupcakes then it would obviously take more marshmallows but it's about 15 to 20 whole marshmallows these are about the cutest things I've ever seen and I mean if I can do that I mean, those are a little putsy of uh, the zinnias but these are easy the big ones the big guys are easier Come on, go outside the box. Uh-uh. <laughs> you know me, Julie. <laughs> it's got to be easy and quick. 
I know a lot of people that are going to love these today. I'm going to make secret so cupcake cute. drops today. Oh, you're such a sweetie. Um, Julie, of course, always teaching classes at the store. And uh, uh, unfortunately, we don't have time to show you the rest of these. But this is just so cute with the sunflower with an Oreo. And this is just pipe frosting, right? Mm -hmm. You just put the Oreo in the middle and then, and then pipe with a leaf tip. You want the one that looks like a bird beak. Okay. Because um, if you get the one with the vein, you don't get as nice of petals. Okay. And then we used either a red Skittle or a red M&M to, to, to do the ladybug. Oh, my gosh. Such great ideas. Um, ordinary box cupcakes just taking them to a whole new level on these. These would make big bucks at the bake sale or a big hit at your kid's classroom party. So great to see you, Julie. You too. Thanks great for having me. Great stuff today. Thank you. We'll be back. Stay with us.